So we, instead of, of extending our future possibilities, we shrink away from that temporary pain. We shrink into the closet of comfort where we never achieve anything. We avoid pain, but we never achieve. And we're always looking outward. Gentlemen, what's going on? Another beautiful day to be alive and take advantage of everything we've been given. This is the Better Man channel where we choose to explore the benefits of sacrifice. That word sacrifice that that brings so many feelings, right? Sacrifice. Well, what do I have to sacrifice and why and what do I get in return? We live in an age today where it's not so much that people are seeking pleasure. They're just wanting to avoid pain. And on the surface, that makes sense, right? Let's avoid pain. Life can be difficult. Life throws curveballs at us all the time. How can I avoid that? How can I position myself in a manner that, that deflects all the, the pains that are coming my way? But also, that's, that's saying no to life, right? And we as men want to be life-affirming men that say yes. Yes to it all, man. The trials, the ups, the downs, those valleys of hell that we have to go through so that we can stand atop the mountain. We say yes to it all, knowing that sacrifice for the temporary discomfort brings us lasting pleasures. And just follow me for a second. A culture that isn't so much seeking out pleasure, but just wanting to avoid pain. They come home from work. They sit on the couch. They watch hours of meaningless and unuseful content just in a vegetative state they go to bed they get up they wake up go to work and repeat this is life and they don't have any unnecessary difficulties you know ups and downs come as they will in life but they're not putting themselves out there so that any self-inflicted pains will come they come home and they sit on the metaphorical couch of life and, and watch it go by. We've all been there or we're currently there. And I imagine all of us, at least in one area of our lives, are sitting on that metaphorical couch watching life pass us by. In order to achieve greatness, in order to stand out, in order to achieve the life that we know we're capable of, in order to live that life out, it comes with the sacrifice, man. Whether we like it or not, in order to achieve something, it comes with sacrifice. And pleasure or pain, those are our two driving motives in life. Why do you do something? Because it's either bringing you pleasure now or it promises you pleasure later. Why do we avoid things? Because it's painful. I don't want to go hang out with my girlfriend's family for three hours on a holiday. Cause, uh, so I try to avoid that. Now, on the other hand, I may stand in line for 30, 45 minutes and wait a week or two after I've bought the tickets to go watch my favorite sports team. Because there's some pleasure in that. Why do I go to the gym and run even though I hate running, especially on a treadmill? Because I know that that temporary sacrifice, that temporary pain brings a lasting reward of what I want. We live in a culture today that it wants to avoid pain. So we, instead of, of extending our future possibilities, we shrink away from that temporary pain. We shrink into the closet of comfort where we never achieve anything. We avoid pain, but we never achieve. And we're always looking outwards thinking, man, yeah, that would be awesome. To have that body. That would be awesome to have that career. That would be awesome to pursue that. But I'm comfortable. Here and I don't have to risk any failure. I don't have to sacrifice anything. I sit on my couch. And I watch life go by. And I don't care who you are. There, there's always at least one area of our life where that's going on. We've got lazy. We've got comfortable. 
We're avoiding pain, therefore stealing away any pleasure that we could achieve. In order to achieve lasting pleasure, something that's not just instant gratification, not that that fast food burger or that episode on Netflix, true pleasure that truly brings reward always requires sacrifice. You're going to have to get up early to go to the gym before work. You're going to have to stay up 30 minutes to read that book that gives you that new interesting thought. You're going to have to put in time to to learn and master that new skill that's going to separate you from the crowd so that you can remove yourself from that wage slave job that you have and create your own business. You're going to have to read that book of philosophy that engages you in a thought that removes you from that ideological prison that you've been entrapped in. We as men are creators, and in order to create something new, we have to sacrifice the old. And that's always going to bring temporary discomfort. Change is discomforting, man. Change is painful at first because ah, I'm making these adjustments and I'm going into something new and it's discomforting. And ah, I wish it could just be easy. And that's the easy epidemic that we live in. Everybody wants to avoid the the lasting pleasures for that temporary pleasure right now so they can avoid the pain that it takes to become something new to transform. Such as going to the gym where you have to sweat and lift and it's hard. It's excruciating. It's painful. You get up early and you don't like it. But the reward far outweighs that temporary sacrifice that you have to go to. And that's in every area of our life. We are men created to be those that strongly sacrifice the now for the later so that we can enjoy something that not everyone else has, but that everyone wants. Everybody wants what it what it requires, or everybody wants what sacrifice requires. They're just not willing to sacrifice to get it. I love you guys. You'll hear from me next episode.